Today is National Donor Day, a day dedicated to spreading awareness and education about organ, eye and tissue donation. KSBY News reporter Kimberly Cruz joins us live now to tell us how a heart transplant saved two different local residents lives. Kimberly. Good afternoon, Richard. It's estimated that 22 people die every day waiting for an organ transplant. That wait list continues to grow as there's not enough registered donors. Valentine's Day has a new meaning when you're waiting for a heart transplant to survive. For Daniel Wickstrom, today marks seven years since he and his wife received some unexpected news. So seven years ago, we were in the ER and the on-call cardiologist um, looked at my chart and said to me that I should consider um, a heart transplant, um, which was sh shocking to both of us because it was something that, um, as sick as I was, we never would have expected in a million years. In his early 20s, Daniel was diagnosed with cardiomyopathy, which is a disease that affects the heart. Weekly hospital and ER visits were common for Daniel and his family. It took one year of Daniel being in the hospital before he finally received the right match, giving him a second chance at life. And to have a real heart again beating inside me was amazing to go from not being able to shower, not being able to sit up to being able to do whatever I want. I mean, I'm living a, a normal life. Daniel is just one example. Lisa Calloway received a new chance at life 15 years ago. To be able to live each day, to get up each morning and to look at that sunshine and say, wow, I'm alive today because someone made the choice to say yes. That's the most important thing to me. According to Donor Network West, there are 28,000 people waiting for organ transplants in California. On the Central Coast, 500 people add to that count. We have a, a call of duty to save as many lives as we can. If you're interested in becoming a registered donor, the easiest way is going to your local DMV office, or you can also go through DonorNetworkWest.org. Live in San Luis Obispo, Kimberly Cruz, KSBY News. All right, Kimberly, thank you. Donate Life America and Donor Network West say there are other ways to help beyond registering to be a donor, including volunteering, fundraising, and providing educational resources.